Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today is a three minute Thursday. If you're new to our channel, our three minute Thursdays are brief product reviews where we put homeschooling products through the paces so you can decide if something is good for your homeschool environment or co-op before you buy it and potentially waste your money. This is our second three minute Thursday of the year. If you missed our first one a few weeks ago, it turned out to be a great product, a great microscope that's cheap, actually does what it says it does, and you can check that link in the description down below. Today we're going to be reviewing an educational product that focuses on human anatomy. Because if your kids are anything like mine, they love to ask questions about the human body all the time. Why do we have two eyes but only one nose? Hey daddy, why do we have toenails? So when I came across this product a few weeks ago on Amazon, I thought I'd give it a shot. This is the first product from a company called Smart Lab that we've reviewed. And frankly, I'd never heard of Smart Lab before. But apparently they've been around since 2004, have won several awards, and make a wide range of various STEAM products. The product we're reviewing today is the Squishy Human Body. It's advertised for ages eight and up, although my five-year-old enjoyed it quite a bit. It has 21 removable objects, includes a forcep and tweezers, an organ organizer, and a workbook. What I think I like most about this product is it allows learners to visualize just how all the organs in the human body interact with each other in a 3D space. Because most kids have heard about and know a little bit about the major organs of the body, but with this model they can get a better appreciation of just exactly what's going on underneath their skin. It reminds me actually of that classic game Operation, only a bit more high fidelity. Right off the bat, there's a lot to like about this product. For starters, it comes with a workbook. Call me old fashioned, but anytime a steam product comes with a workbook, it always makes me happy. What I mean by that is the book spends time talking about several different organ systems that are demonstrated in the skeleton. So to make it worth your money, you can focus on one organ system at a time, even one organ system a week, for example. You can start with a workbook and then transition to some of your own materials or go to the internet if necessary. And then you're all of a sudden using this product over a course of two months and that really makes it worth your money. Another plus is the tweezers and forceps notwithstanding, the build quality of this is pretty great. It's all hard plastic and rubber, so it's not like the kids are gonna break this anyway. So I'm sure some kids could find a way. Lastly, the reusability factor of this is pretty high. When you're done with it, you still have a complete product. So if you've got various kids at various age ranges, tuck it away in the closet for a bit, and when they're ready, they can use it. Unlike when you buy a chemistry steam kit, usually at the end you have used all the reagents and there's really nothing left you can do with the product. It doesn't mean it was a bad product, it's just the nature of a chemistry kit. Here, you still have the complete set. You've got your workbook, all your organ systems, you can pass it from kid to kid. Heck, if you're done with it, you can put it on eBay and sell it and get some of your money back. Speaking of money, it currently costs about $17 on Amazon. I say currently because they say it's listed for sale and I don't know if that's a gimmick and the sale's gonna go away or if that's just a trick they get you to buy it. But right now, at least, it's $17. In the end, I feel like this is a solid addition to any homeschool, co-op, or any scholastic environment for that matter. It's definitely better than the worst product we've ever reviewed, which I don't think will ever be dethroned. I'm not gonna mention any names. But I will reference the video because I'm still bitter about the money I spent on it. So that's it for this week's video. Like I said, these three minute Thursdays are usually pretty brief. We hope you have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.